What's good, y'all? It's the one only King Cal 516 live in the mix, and this is the Switch Flames Podcast. So the LA Clippers will be moving out of the Staples Center come the 2024-25 NBA season, and they'll be moving into a brand new state-of-the-art arena in Inglewood, California. Remember this past summer, they had that big old celebration where all the memes were done with Kawhi and uh, Paul George with like uh, uh, a blank stare in their face, unentertained by the entertainment that was being provided. That was a bunch of lasts this past uh, offseason. But nevertheless, the Clippers will be moving. And, you know, the Clippers are a team that are stained kind of by their history, right? So they went years and years and years under the Donald Sterling regime. I believe it's for about 27 years. Um, being in, you know, they moved to L.A. from what? It was 1984 where they moved to L.A. So these guys spent years and years and years and years, about 27 years under this Donald Sterling regime. In, in Los Angeles and basically you know we're considered by most the worst franchise in American sports or one of the worst franchises in American sports but there was a lot of people who had the Clippers as uh, one of the worst franchises in American sports I remember my boy growing up he was a Clipper fan I just couldn't fathom I, I just didn't understand it I'm like how is this possible he was like the only Clipper fan I knew growing up now I'm not from the West Coast. I'm sure there was more in the West Coast. Obviously, I'm from the East Coast, but neither here nor there. I always looked at him like, "What? You a Clipper fan?" This is back in the days when they had like Sam Cassell and those guys. So I say that to say this: I remember hearing about the Clippers adamantly saying they're not going to do a name change, and I'm here to kind of encourage the Clippers. Maybe you should do a name change. Why? Because there's an aura about your history that seems to be lingering around the organization for whatever reason. Right now, let's give Steve Ballmer a lot of respect and a lot of props. Steve Ballmer is putting his money where his mouth is. He's the richest owner in the league, and he's spending his money like he's the richest owner in the league. He's dropping, he's dropping the money. So the Clippers, I believe, are in good hands now as far as management concerns from the top down. I believe that Steve Ballmer has put the right people in position to help this team be successful. I believe he's brought the right coaching staff. I believe he's brought the right players that fit the bill that they're trying to um, advertise. But Steve Ballmer, of all people, knows about branding. And I just think you want to fully come out of the Lakers' shadow, right? And I think winning cares all, right? So if you're able to win a championship before you move to this next arena, all fine and dandy, that, that'll help you start to rebrand. But I would dare to say, if you're going to move out to Staples Center and you're no longer playing in the arena that the Lakers play in, and you're moving into your own arena, just do a full name change. Do a full rebrand. Get away from whatever history and that aura of what the Clippers was and fully embrace into the new you know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. I, I totally believe the Clippers should do a rebrand. The Clippers should change their name. Maybe they should um, do some uh, marketing probes to their fan base on suggestions. But I really think it would be good for the Clippers. You know, I you don't got to tell me that this arena they're going in is going to be state of the art. Because I know Bomber puts his money where his mouth is. Right? And so everything else... They've been going in the right direction last season. They got the furthest they ever did in franchise history by making the conference finals. But... You got to look at your adversary in the same city that you're going against, the Lakers. These guys are tied for the most NBA championships ever, right? And so you got a long way to go to try to capture more and more the city in your favor, moving into arenas to start. But I truly believe the Clippers should really consider changing the name. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you agree with me that the Clippers should change the name? Or do you think they should just keep it the same and run with what they have? Remember, 2024, 25 seasons when they will make that official move. Uh, from the Staples Center. With that says your boy Ken Cal 516 Live in the Mix. This has been the Swiss Flame Podcast. Be sure to check out the website www.swissflames.com. Hit us up on Twitter at Swiss Flames. Check out the Facebook YouTube page at Swiss Flames Podcast. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and definitely, definitely appreciate your support. Till next time. Peace.